Schmidt says this is what change.org can accomplish. And that's why a 22-year-old recent college graduate turned to the site to challenge one of America's biggest banks. I cannot take any more fees. Molly Kachpo works two part-time jobs to make ends meet. When you're living paycheck to paycheck, she says, an extra $5 a month makes a big difference. Using my own debit card, something that I didn't have to pay for before, you know, up until now, you know, it's just the easiest thing for me to do is to use my debit card. We're just sick of it, you know? We're sick of it and we can't do it. And it just seems like Bank of America didn't think about that at all. We are not a utility. I hate to say this, I know this may be a newsflash to some people, but we are in the business of making money. Richard Hunt is the president of the Consumer Bankers Association, a trade group that represents the nation's top banks. We asked Bank of America for an on-camera interview. They refused and pointed us to Mr. Hunt. He's unapologetic and says that if you want to point the finger at someone for the $5 debit fee, blame Congress. They're necessary for one reason, one reason only, Senator Dick Durbin of Illinois. Uh, we would not be having this interview had the Durbin Amendment ever passed. Uh, we had no intention of ever charging anyone for a debit fee, a debit card fee like they're using today. So that's the number one reason. The Durbin Amendment was part of the financial overhaul bill known as the Dodd-Frank Act of 2010. The amendment, which went into effect on October 1st, limits the fees banks can collect from merchants when a customer uses a debit card. The banks say it's a major threat to their bottom line. We think this is going to cost anywhere from six to eight billion dollars. You've already seen our revenue go down on the retail banking side. You have to understand a bank is much more than retail banking. It's trading floor operations, it's oversee operations. I guarantee you we've seen a loss in revenue on the retail banking side because of the economic conditions. And unfortunately, I think we're into about a two-year time span where we're going to see a decline in revenue in retail banking. It's almost a mathematical certainty. But Molly Catchpole has few words of sympathy for the likes of Bank of America. Everyone is so tired of hearing, you know, sob stories from banks. Because banks, you know, are what people are upset about. Um, so I don't, I don't think anybody really cares, <laughs> to be honest. Fed up with fees, Catchpole decided to go online to send Bank of America a message. I, I just, I think I, I heard this news and I was just like really upset about it. And I went on to change.org and I had signed a couple of petitions there before. So um, I wrote the petition up. The petition encouraged people to voice their anger at the new debit card fee. And the response was overwhelming. And someone says, because enough is enough. And I think that kind of sums up the feelings here. In the first two days, she had 100,000 signatures. And it would grow by like thousands every couple of seconds. There'd be thousands of, of, of other people who signed on. And it didn't stop. After less than a week, she printed up her 155,000 signatures and took them to a local Bank of America branch, where she promptly closed her account. She soon got a response from Bank of America's corporate office in the form of a call from the company's consumer policy executive. When I talked to the Bank of America executive on the phone, he said that it's their attempt to make their fees more transparent. But it's not as if this fee was there to begin with. This is a new fee. We don't, you know, we don't really care that, that, it's great that they're trying to be transparent, but it's not like this fee had been hiding you know, in the depths of your bank account, and now all of a sudden they're telling you about it. That's not the case. So, you know, it was very nice of them to try to explain it to me, but it didn't, it doesn't make a difference. But Richard Hunt, president of the Consumer Bankers Association, says it's all just the cost of doing business. Well, unfortunately, many uh, Americans are used to having a debit card for free. They weren't charged because we were charging the consumer, the, the merchant, to pay for it. And now we have to recoup that cost. We, like any other business in the United States of America, we have to at least recoup the cost of the product that we have liability for. But a lot of people are not buying that explanation. Molly Catchpole's petition now has just shy of 300,000 signatures. I want to keep going. I want to get, you know, hundreds and hundreds of thousands of more signatures. 
Um, I don't know what it's going to take for them to to refigure this and to rethink it. I mean, what do they want? <laughs> How many more do they want to the so that they can come forward and say, "Listen, all right, we know you're unhappy. We're going to rethink this, and that would be a victory." According to Patrick Schmidt of Change.org, the impact of the petition goes beyond a simple debit card fee. Molly's campaign has inspired other campaigns against other banks uh, to reduce their fees, against towns, asking those towns to divest from uh, big corporations like Bank of America and put their money into community banks and credit unions. This all became part of the national narrative, outraged about banks that we had bailed out, that were turning record profits, that had given golden parachutes to CEOs, just gouging customers in one other way. And Molly really gave voice to that spirit. If you've got it, watch it. If you don't, call your TV provider to get HDNet today.